Sup guys, so this is just going to be a quick DIY just to talk about how to sometimes you get a pick that you really like the shape of but it's not got enough grip. So I had a similar situation with these picks. So this one had the maxi grip on which is the Jim Dunlop Jazz Freeze but I prefer this one for the size. So it's just to talk about how to add extra grip onto here which is pretty simple. You can do, you can add sandpaper, which I don't like to do. Um, I like to do it a different way, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that way. It's pretty simple. You just get some scissors, and you just get the pick. And then you just kind of work out where you hold the pick. So if I hold here, I'm not really going to put the grip up here. I might do a little bit, but it's going to be here. Because I have the problem when I play, the pick starts to move around like that. So the grip will just make sure that the pick stays there so all you do is you just get here and then you just very simply start to scratch it away i would go for something with quite a big blade as well because if you go for something like a scalpel i found they're a lot finer so i just get a pair of scissors and then i just scratch it and then i get a you can do like and then you cross over and it doesn't matter how neat, the messier and more jagged it is, the better the grip's going to be, to be honest. That's what I find. So that's what I do. I just let it all get all jaggied up. Loads of different directions. Like that. So if I just get this in the light. So that's the jagged up side. And then this is the plain side. So as you can see, it's really shiny in this one isn't as shiny and then that just goes like that so it's actually it's a bit harder to move but yeah so that's just how i add extra grip to picks that i like that don't have enough grip Bye.